WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we still have a slightly mixed bag out there, a little bit like yesterday. Today's mix is coming from the transports. They're trading down 136 points. Otherwise, you got the other U.S. indices trading the upside. Dow's up 122, S&P 55, NASDAQ 100, 300 points. That's 1.7%. Russell's up 17, 810. Semi's up 2 and a quarter percent 105 points there. You've got gold up 4 bucks with silver down 11 pennies. Lights we crude is flat. Natural gas is off four cents and a 30 treasury up 21 ticks for now at 113.31. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. What's it doing? Trading right up into resistance. Resistance being 51.40. If price were to close by 51.40 today, that would suggest a further rally. However, you want to combine that with the spot volatility mix, which is testing support. So you got the ES mini testing resistance. And you've got the spot volatility testing support. When I say support, I'm referring to the 50-day exponential moving average. So if the ES mini closes above 51.40 and the spot volatility is closing below 15.20, that suggests a further rally out there. And if it doesn't, well, if there's some strange thing that happens over the uh, weekend out there, you can expect the ES mini to trade lower. Now, the NQ is trading into its sell zone. The sell zone is between 17.810 and 18.089. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's rallying this morning, but still just trading with inside its profile. Resistance up at the 106.32 level, support down at 104.71. There is a new profile that is attempting to form inside of Goldilocks. Now, gold has a sell the D point top. The only way that, that gets negated is a close about 2433. This new profile has been attempting to form for hours. It has shifted a few different times out there. The same thing with regard to silver. So, But right now, I do know that uh, buyers are really trying to defend the 2317 to 2343 level. And presumably, a close above 2343.20 today would take us up to 2420, the top of the profile. In the case of silver, it's really suggesting uh, support right now down at 2722. Resistance up at 2814. Lights Recruit is trading the resistance at the top of its profile at the 8384 level level. Natural gas, still a little stinker out there, trading at the bottom of its consolidation pattern. And the 30-year Treasury still holds its A to B equals CD buy bottom out there by the D point. Um, but it's not really doing a whole heck of a lot out there. So folks, stay tuned, if you would. For the Trader's Ed Show, we'll bisect and dissect the market. That's what's just been asked of me to do. And uh, would love to uh, get a request from you as well. So stay tuned. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic weekend, a fantastic Friday. We'll look forward to speaking with you again on Monday. Take care now. In the world of trading,